This is TJ. In this video, I'm going to quickly be going over five programs that are great tools for ripping and backing up um, CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray discs, um, as well as transcoding audio and video files. These programs are Handbrake, VLC Media Player, Media Coder, Infra Recorder, and Windows CD Emulator. All of these programs are completely free to download and use for both personal and commercial use and they're all open source software except for Media Coder, which is a freeware software. Um, if you want to download these and try them out for yourself, you can find download links at my website, tjfree.com. Let's take a look at this first program, Handbrake. It's a tool for ripping Blu-ray discs and DVDs, so you can have them, you can watch them on your computer without having to have the disc in your computer. It's great for backing up media if you have a, a media center and you want to store all of your um, videos on a hard drive or something like that. So, you, uh, and you can also use it to to convert. Say you have a DVD you want to watch on your iPod or iPad or your Android phone. It has settings over here where you can you can preset it for a certain device and it'll resize the video so it'll be optimal to be for playback on whatever device you're going to be using it with. You can also use this to transcode video from one format to another. You can change the um, video container and the audio and video um, formats. Um, so it gives you a lot of control over um, video, uh, vid and it specifically comes in handy for ripping video from optical discs. This next program, VLC, is actually just a, me a media player. I cover it in some of my other videos, but it's great also because it has an option here that you can open, cap you go click on media, go to open capture device, then you can then capture video from a DVD or a Blu-ray disc or audio disc. Um, you can capture that. You can tell it which chapters to get um, and which audio tracks and subtitles to get, things like that. And then it will capture that, save it to your hard drive again, similar to what Handbrake does, just another option. Um, a lot of people don't know about this feature that VLC Media Player has. And you can also capture network streams. You can capture videos from files. Um, you can capture net, um, like webcams. Um, capture video from your webcam on your computer. So it's a, it's a cool program for capturing video as well. <clears throat> um, Media Coder, this is a program, it's kind of like a Swiss army knife of transcoding. You can change audio and video files from one format to another. Um, you can use it to reduce the video size. Like for example, I've got a video here that is uh, it's 18.2 megabytes. If I drag and drop it into Media Coder here, we can change it from an AVI file to an MP4. I'll click start. It'll run that down here and uh, when it's done it should be a very it should be significantly smaller so I can upload it to YouTube or t send it in an email attachment to someone. Um, it's just a short video. It's maybe a 30 second video clip. Here we go. It says you've this has been transcoded from 18 megabytes down to 2.5 megabytes. Okay so good program for that. I could, I could also have changed the video and audio formats um, container type, um, so yeah, good transcoding tool. This next one, Infra Recorder, is a DVD and uh, an optical disc burning tool. I don't know if it can burn Blu-ray discs or not, um, but you can also use it to write an image, which is cool. Like I have the Linux Ubuntu image here. If I want to burn a live CD, I can do that and tell it, you know, you have control over burn speeds and quality and things like that. Um, you can also use it to rip ISO images. So if you have a, a computer game you like to play, but for example, like I have an Ultrabook that doesn't have a, a CD drive in it, a DVD drive in it, so I could rip a DVD. I could rip uh, one of my games, and um, well, I'll sh with this next program, I'll show you how to do that. And anyway, so this is a burning and ripping program for data data CDs. You can also burn video discs and audio CDs with it as well. Okay, Windows CD Emulator is kind of where I was getting at with that other one. If I've got a game here. I can mount... Oh, this all went crazy on me. So... Age of, the Age of Empires, Age of Kings version. Oh, come on. I'm going crazy here. Alright, so I can mount this Age of Kings. And then it comes up and says, well, we, a, a virtual CD has just been put into your computer and drive E. I can go and look and sure enough, I've got this this game in the computer if I want to run it and I could install it and play it. Um, also I could you can mount multiple at once if I want to go back and mount that um, Linux um, Ubuntu CD. Now it's mount, mounted on here too. I can browse through the files and 
Sure enough, it says it's mounted in virtual drive F on my computer, which I don't, like I said, I don't have any CD drives, but now it's showing I have two virtual CD drives, um, so I can use them that way. So hopefully that made sense, how that, what that program does. Um, yeah, these are the programs I wanted to show you. Great tools for working with optical discs on your computer. Um, go ahead and watch my other videos and rate and comment this video and get involved in the YouTube community. And appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day.